Hey there, it's Elena, your friendly nuclear physicist, and today we are reacting to some more Simpsons episodes. This is part number... Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Marge, voulez-vous rendez-vous at the dog's bed? I can't move! His head's on my own! At the dog's bed? <laughs> this is some desperate situation. Can you give me a foot rub? Also, Ew. we both have to sign his permission slip. Oh, maybe we should just go to sleep. <laughs> can't sleep, can't snuggle. Gonna do the unthinkable. Holy, what do you mean? Gotta go to work early. <laughs> Jesus, go to work at 5 a.m. That is not Homer at all. Jeez, there's a lot of spaces when you get in early. Jeez, there's a lot of donuts when you get in early. Perks. Hot coffee? Who ever heard of such a thing? Mm, 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 mm. Luigi's pizza is just thrown away on top of the reactor control room. I see some gum sticking, some banana peels thrown around. Yeah, that looks like probably the night shift from last night. Nice. I was supposed yeah. to read this when I started the job, but I didn't want the other workers to think of me as an... It's still in this like plastic sealed wrapper. <laughs> he hasn't even opened it yet. I hope because he knows everything by heart already. Here. Oh, he took it out. What's he doing? He's reading. Nerd. Hey. Everybody's surprised. This is some productive day for Homer. I'm impressed. And I'm proud. Homer, settle a bet. Red beans and rice, or red beans on rice? Winner gets 3,000 bucks. Sorry, guys. Maybe another time. Homer Simpson don't want to screw around. That's like Aquaman <laughs> moving the Phoenix. You know, Letty, seeing Homer acting responsible. Oh, Aquaman the Phoenix. I just got that. Yeah, it makes me want to buckle down and do my job. You know, vice president of marketing. Hey, if you need me, I'll be cold calling people to see what they think of electricity. <laughs> Ah, it's interesting. So in Homer's brain, his brain is basically a coal factory. So it's not a nuclear factory. So I would assume that if you work in a nuclear power plant and you're obsessed about nuclear, then your brain should be powered by a nuclear reactor, right? Mr. Smithers, I, uh, I noticed the plant's free subscription to Nuclear Safety Magazine was hitting the six-month mark. They're going to start charging us the full newsstand price. And no one pays those prices. Nice catch, Simpson. <laughs> so I had the idea to cancel it and sign up for another free trial under a new email. Wow. <laughs> wow. Simpson, something is very different about you. I am sexually frustrated. Tell me about it. So basically, deprivation in the bed with the wife makes you more productive at work? Interesting. As a nuclear physicist, when searching nuclear-related terms on the web, that might set off some red flags and would have FBI knocking on my door. I've been using VPNs for a while now, and Atlas VPN has the best deal there is. I get the premium subscription for $1.70 per month, plus a 30-day money-back guarantee and six months for free. You can get this deal in the link in the description down below. As well as keeping my search times private, I also get to watch my favorite shows like Big Bang Theory while being abroad. And being able to avoid annoying ads and trackers that are trying to steal my classified work data. And I can do that throughout all of my devices. Since Christmas is coming, you can also get the best deals while shopping online, for example, from Spotify, Netflix, and more. Have a private and safe holidays with premium Atlas VPN subscription and just like me, get it for $1.70 per month, plus six months for free and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Click the link in the description down below to snatch this Christmas deal. Keep rusty, keep rusty. Okay, but why is the kid in the bed <laughs> for the second night? Only listen. No ketchup, no ketchup! Oh no, not the hand. Like father, like son. Burger dream. Come, Krusty. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I really am traumatized. I need help. What is happening with Homer and the ketchup? Please, please. Mm, can you wait till morning? Sure. 
Please, Indeed. please. Thanks for waiting till morning. No problemo. I had an actual nightmare about Camp Krusty. There was a body in a red life vest. <gasps> what else do you remember? We were canoeing. We were in a storm. <gasps> <laughs> he makes the FA as well to make it more realistic. must have been so horrible. We repressed the memory. But don't tell, because they'll make me miss school. Maybe you should miss school. I have perfect attendance. You can't get that back. Okay, I'll bring your carriage around. Uh-oh, looks like snow. Wait, Very what? funny, Bart. <laughs> Stop it! <gasps> <clears throat> made your breakfast. I also made reservations for Mother's Day. I know it's three months away, but you can't book too early. It's a three months away, but you can't book too early. I mean, this guy seems to be performing very well. Maybe it was like a, not such a positive reason why he started doing so, but the outcome is what matters, right? <coughs> Who's that guy? I don't know. Who's this guy? The old guy. Is he the dad of someone? The wife of Homer? Oh. And what's the wife's name anyways? <laughs> oh. Picking it by hand, Uranium-232, Uranium-235. You're gonna use the Uranium-235 for the reactor, but why picking it by hand and why eating it? <laughs> Is it a snack? <laughs> I eating a lot of them. Birds, I noticed no one ever put suggestions in the box, so I took the liberty of making my own. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Rent out the core for weddings. What? <laughs> the reactor core? <laughs> I mean, if it was the hall or some building of the power plant, I would be like, okay, that sounds some cool idea for some nerd physicists who want to get married, but the reactor core, <laughs> that's kind of impossible and unsafe. Excellent. Simpson, I'm giving you a raise. So that's more the one thing. But that's more than I make now. You've done so well, Simpson. I'm giving you your own trapdoor button. Oh, thank you. Next clip. Five more minutes. Uh, poor guy. Now this looks more like Homer behavior, right? Inflated mattress. He doesn't just sleep on the chair at work. He has his own, his own mattress and blanket as well. Even at the plant. And yet he's still late. I hate Mondays on a mug with a mushroom of the nuclear explosion behind. These people seem to be just walking around and commenting on Homer's behavior, but they don't seem to be doing any much work either. <laughs> owner of the month in just like different colored backgrounds he is the owner of the month where are the employees he's the owner every month is the same owner but we don't have like best employee or anything i mean judging by homer's work culture <laughs> i would say probably there's not many choices <laughs> okay how did he climb up there <laughs> that's impressive i'd like to do that i'd like the view from above a cooling tower i like how they use the atom on the cooling tower, even though nothing, say, nuclear happens in the tower, but it's still nicer than the radioactive sign on a tower that just takes out steam. <laughs> he has his own golden statue. This guy is sad. <laughs> Come up through my rear and grab me. Yes, sir. Of course, he would come from the back. He's hugging the gloves. I'm missing some context. I don't understand why he's not at home. What happened? Did he like break up or something? <laughs> Emergency decontamination shower is where he takes a shower. I'm not sure if that's a clean shower because you're supposed to be decontaminated there. So all of your radioactive stuff is going to go in the shower. The one here. I don't get it, Homer. You and your wife may be calling it quits. How can you be happy? 
Oh, you guys missed a very sad montage. But then I remembered that after every fight we ever had, Marge takes me back. Okay, so her name is Marge. Now I know. Okay. <laughs> and also, these people again are here. Don't they have jobs? And I got the context. They did get into a fight. I wouldn't be so cocky, Homer. Marge has changed her relationship status to it's complicated. Duck. It's complicated. Complicated? What's complicated? We're not together, but we're not legally apart. And I have to fight for the right to see the children I spent my life avoiding. What's complicated about that? Very simple indeed. <laughs> Simpson, where are your shoes? Narcolepsy. Oh, sorry, sorry. Now, to prove everything is fine, I'm just going to give Marge a call. Hello, you've reached the voicemail for Marge Bouvier. Oh my god, she switched to her maiden name. She did. She changed her last name. That's major. You must be serious. She's gonna have to order new ch Okay, that was interesting. Give some context there. I would like to see the whole episode to see why they got into this big fight and what was the fight about. Let's go to the next clip. Me first. No, me. No, me. No, me. 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 You, huh? sir, are a baboon. <gasps> so I just want you to know I love you very much. Shut up. Jesus. Huh? That is some bad behavior. Wait, get in the car. This is where you belong. Yeah, Homer. What is this crazy diabolical family? For one more. One of us. No. <laughs> Stupid it. Okay, let's see. Co nuclear physics or something on the top there. And uh, he's trying to build something that, I don't know, looks more like the nuclear bomb, to be honest. Atomic pile. Can I go downstairs and see what Dad's doing? For your own safety? Probably not. Dad! <laughs> this is gonna be sweet. <laughs> is he, why is he like see-through from the back and you can see the bones? <laughs> How much of these x-rays did he get? <laughs> Dad, that could explode. <laughs> yep. We're all gonna die. Dad. <laughs> Dad. Hello. Okay, that was a crazy one. So he did create an atomic bomb. I was right. I was not a nuclear reactor. Jesus. Next clip. Jesus. <laughs> They have their own emojis. That's so cute. He put all the family on the couch. <laughs> what? Meh? What? Hey! Up your... Oh, sorry. Yes, sir. My queen. Who are these guys? Yeah, who are they? Meh. Sir, please, don't do this. Oh, stop your smithering. Yes. Nice. How about the parachute? He just let it go. Is he planning to like develop some wings meanwhile? Uh. Oh my god. Yeah, of course you'll go and save him. Yep, up. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, he wants to die. Will you marry Mo? Mo? That was easy. And she did go and marry Mo or whatever his name was. Jesus, what's happening in this episode? Yes, good job. <laughs> Even in the parachute is his face. This dude, he is something else. I did it all by myself. Of course he did. Oh, Smithers, do you always have to be underfoot? Sorry, sir. If there were a less spectacular way to save your life, I, I should have found it. <laughs> I swear this boss doesn't deserve this guy. You see this guy. This guy's in love with Yeah, that's the face. Mr. Burns coming down, I... I thought we weren't going to make it, and I thought I'd never get to say something I've always wanted to. The truth is, sir, 
I'm in love with the sound of your own voice. Yes, well, no dog would I. Listen. No, he stopped it. He was gonna say that he's in love with him. Come on. Think to the nightingale, trill her an ending tune. Don't take this the wrong way, but you mean nothing to me. Someone I give less thought to than the little piece of popcorn stuck in my tooth. Oh, can you remove it? Jeez. Yeah. We'll see you back at the office. Don't be late. What is happening? Ew. He kept it. He kept the popcorn piece from the tooth. I've lived half of my mm. life, living half of a life, waiting for you to 34. Wow. Can't you see the fire burning in my core? Wow. I hope these are the back and not the rest of the co-workers, because that becomes even more weird. Is there a half-life for hope? I know the answer. Is there a half-life for hope? I feel so bad for him. Yes, nope. I failed at my mission. No fusion, just fission. And now I'm here. Why did they melt it down on the outside of the reactor? Wishing to be decommissioned. The cute fish. Besides the three eyes, like in the last episode, now it even has two heads. So six eyes in total. Have you ever felt down? Much worse than a meltdown. The lyrics are just amazing, first of all. Second of all, this whole room is just all over the place. There's clearly radioactive steam and smoke coming from everywhere. There is leaking radioactive waste from the containers, the whatever seems to be, I don't know, steam generator or a reactor. It's also full of greenery, which is clearly radioactive based on this cartoon. What is happening? My heart is covered in birds. <gasps> he saw everything. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are playing football with the spent nuclear fuel. Interesting. I know that it's spent nuclear fuel because I've seen it in the other episodes. Yes, I know. It's a green glowing broads of plutonium. <laughs> Larry Moe and Curly get... Well, at least they have the, the hazmat suit on, right? So that counts for something. They don't just like play it like that. So you like fun and games? Well, games can be fun. So uh, that's kind of redundant. Would you like to rethink the question? Ugh. Here's a game for you. Properly stack and store those rods, then perform a complete turbine maintenance procedure. Routine maintenance? We never do that. Lots of us never get to do things. Yeah, we know. We heard your song. Ah. Jacqueline Jones, reading for the part of Ilsa. Oh, I like this one. A cool girl. Plus, her father owns a print shop. Free playbills. For color. Yeah, right. yeah smart. Yeah. I can't fight it anymore. I ran away from you once. I can't do it again. Strange choices. Maybe that scrunchie's too tight. Yeah, well, you can teach... That scrunchie's too tight, he said. Acting, you can't teach popular. We've got our Ilsa. Are you sure? Even by school play standards, she's terrible. Skinner, I'm setting down my clipboard to signify that all future auditions are just a formality. Lisa Simpson, reading for the part of Ilsa. Oh, the egghead pass. Hard pass. Can I... Why is he so mean to the kids? Tell you a story. It's about a girl who came to Paris and met a man. A very great and courageous man. She's good. Yes, better than Little Miss Print Shop. And there you are. Guess what? You've just been promoted a grade. <laughs> Everything she knew or ever became was because of him. And she looked up to him and worshipped yeah, she just him keeps going. with a feeling she supposed was love. <sighs> <laughs> That's it! I'll audition! Okay. I'm not gonna lie, this episode was all over the place, but yeah, I see that the main point of the episode is love, and love that is, let's say, unattainable. The Smithers is his name, and he's like secret love with a boss that he can never just say it to him and move on with his life. 
uh, yeah, it was pretty fun to watch. So as you might have noticed already, uh, doing the reactions for The Simpsons on YouTube is actually the first time I'm watching Simpsons episodes. So that's why there's a lot of significant information that I might be missing, like names of people that are important for the, for the cartoon. So I know you're gonna have lots of fun in the comment section about that, but don't be too harsh on me, okay? Thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below what episodes would you like me to react to next. It's been Alina, your friendly nuclear physicist, and until next time, see you soon.